right, let's do this. This is Chicago Crown Hustler. I'm doing my What Sold on eBay Part 3, which is the 21st to the 31st, the final chapter in December. If you haven't seen my other videos, um, check, check them. I put up two videos uh, yesterday and the day before of uh, what else sold on in December and also, um, <coughs> excuse me, I uh, also did a little bit of research on certain certain products to uh, kind of get your head in the game. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I went to the doctor finally today and got some medicine, but man, it's uh, it's not easy. I took my first dose, <laughs> and then I proceeded to go to the gym, and that was a bad idea because I feel like crap now. So, all right, so let me get my uh, screen share going here. Oh, and hot and cold and hot and cold all day. It's not good. All right, screen share. Bingo. Let's check it out. Whoops, did I really just close that? I sure did. This is it right here. Nope, I didn't need to do that. Sorry about that. First product up is, uh, these are just Express Crew neck t-shirts that I had. Um, these are medium, now I'm a large. These didn't fit me and they're in really good condition. Um, so I kind of just bundled them up. I think these go for like 20 bucks new uh, each, so... This is a pretty good price. They set for about a week, um, so that's fine with me. Took some decent pictures, and yeah, $34.99 with free shipping. Cool. Next item up was a, uh, a Lego shirt. I picked this one up at uh, Goodwill. It was brand new with the tags. Um, I don't know. I picked it up for like 2 bucks. It was really... Uh, Cheap. And anything with the tags, I really like picking up. Um, $14.99. Sold on December 1st, just before Christmas. Um, oh, standard. These uh, took a little bit to sell. These were uh, Asics, which is a really good brand. Women's running shoes. Um, you got to check the model numbers because certain ones are worth nothing and certain ones are worth hundreds. Um, so these had a ton of views. I think there was like 160 or 170 views within 30 days, and they didn't sell. So I was like, what the hell is going on? So I posted them again, and here's a good lesson is to, if you ever have that many views without a even an offer, because I did have it best offered, go through the whole listing and make sure you didn't put a mistake or miss something, because I missed... Of all shots of the shoes, I missed the bottom, which they had a little bit of wear and tear, but there's still a bunch of, uh, excuse me, a bunch of uh, tread left on them. So once I put that up, I think they sold, um, not the day of, but the next day for $39.95. I got this. Um, this one at a garage. No. Where did I get this? This was gifted to me or something a long time ago. And it says it's a medium, but it's like a big medium it's like a casino style shirt or something i don't know it was huge um 29.95 it was pretty cool design authentic gibson tour wear front and back first class this one was from goodwill out of the bins for uh, i don't go to the bin store but i they have like their dollar 99 untagged clothes and that's my bins uh, so I got this for a dollar ninety nine, and it was uh, sold really quickly. Actually, I thought it, you know, it's a real basic Abercrombie and Fitch T-shirt, but it went for sixteen ninety nine right away. I know I'm kind of zipping through this, but like I said, I feel like crap. Um, just trying to stay consistent with the videos, you know. This is a good brand to be on the lookout for. Charles Tierwit. Um, you can definitely feel the quality in the shirt. It's a super, super soft, nine iron, slim fit. I think it's just cotton. Yep, 100% cotton. This one went for $27.99 um, with free shipping. 
which was first class, so $2.60 for shipping. <clears throat> nice little send. This should be like a Texas Instruments like stock photo because look at that. I took these on my uh, these pictures on my coffee table. Um, I actually picked this up off of Offer Up. Um, the kid was pretty cool. I brought my own batteries with just to kind of test it out. Um, the screen was good. All the buttons worked. There's a little bit of a wear on the back. That's where you kind of engrave your name and then just general use. Nothing crazy, but overall functioned perfectly. This is a really good model to look out for, the TI-84 Plus. Excuse me. Took about two weeks for this one to sell. I picked it up for... $10 on offer up and it went for $74.99 expedited shipping which is priority mail and that went in a bubble mailer for like five bucks this was crazy um, I found this at Goodwill for $4.99 and I didn't even like I know what this is I mean it's a it's a DJ mixer so it connects to your computer um, it had all the cables and everything, and I got it home, and one of my buddies does uh, DJ stuff, so I gave him a call and asked him how to quickly test it. Um, he said, as long as the power is on and you can see, you know, certain lights on here, thing are still there. It had a few accessories. He said, then it's good, you know, make sure the pieces spin freely and all that. You know, I kind of wanted to mix it up, but I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> So awesome. I mean, at five, uh, four ninety nine. I tested it out, cleaned it up a little bit, and it went for one hundred and fifty nine dollars ninety five cents. Little bit, a little bit of a pain to ship. Um, I did use the medium flat rate boxes and definitely Franken box. Did I chop those things up and called it a day? Um, hey, what's up, Barry? I see that you're watching. You're the first like live viewer ever. <laughs> I only have uh, I think twenty, <clears throat> like twenty uh, subscribers. So cool to see that it's starting to work. I guess. So if you see a new mark uh, mixer in there, make sure it has everything and um, yeah, pick it up. Uh, hopefully, you watch my other two videos because I pick this up all the time. Ink cartridges are awesome. I just picked one up today and it will sell for fifty-seven dollars, and I got it for um, four bucks. Brand new in the box. HP is the brand to look out for. Canon. Uh, where are the big other big ones? Those are the two big ones that I would go for. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four ninety nine at Goodwill went for seventeen. Uh, these go within a week, if not two weeks. Uh, always for standard shipping, which is first class, two bucks sixty cents. This I got at a garage sale. It was like new. It was incredible. I mean. Look at it. <laughs> Daywalt is a huge uh, brand to look out for. This one for $169. I'm sorry, I picked these up for 50 bucks with the box that was used. The charger and everything was there. All the manuals. It was an unbelievable set. Um, I really got lucky and I was at the right time at the right place because I was proactive. I love garage sale season. Like I cannot wait because I just I slam them out. I get like 50 garage sales a day. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, chipping was really easy with this one. I have some super thick, um, like paper, uh, almost like construction paper, but like thicker. And as long as you can tape the corners up nicely and you know make it look presentable for the USPS and everything, they'll take it. Um, so I just threw it all in the box here, made sure nothing was shaking around, and it went pretty quickly. Uh, One hundred sixty-nine dollars ninety-nine cents. With 11 bucks shipping, the buyer paid for the shipping. <laughs> Here's another ink cartridge. I got this for 50 cents at Goodwill. No box or anything, and I was a little bit skeptical because this looks like older packaging, but it was all brand new, vacuum sealed. It's not a replacement or anything like that, and that went for uh, $12.99, free shipping. First class, $2.60. I've heard of Banjo-Kazooie for other um, platforms. I'm not Xbox 360 ever, so when I saw this, I was like, all right, cool, check it out. And it's like a bundle. It came with the Viva Pinata. Never heard of it. Never played either of these games, but I'm, I've heard of uh, 
the banjo kazooie so i looked it up and it was going for good prices um so i had the case all the manuals it took a nice detailed picture this picture is really what set me out differently from everybody else because their picture looks like this with it sitting on you know it's so this you can see all the discs that come with the manuals and then it went in like two or three days for 20 bucks free shipping i've got it for 3.99 <coughs> at goodwill lacoste this is a cool brand to look out for i'm pretty good with clothing so if you guys want to research clothing or you have any questions let me know in the chat I'd be uh more than happy to check stuff out i love doing a um, little bit of ebay uh sold listings research but this is the uh M or the logo to look out for <coughs> got this one at a garage sale new without tags it was like perfect pressed there's no sign of wear whatsoever so i'm confident in saying that it was new without the tags 33.25 i think i took a best offer on it went free shipping also from a garage sale got this for two dollars um brand new these things sell i mean contractors are out there and they're looking for tools all the time and if they're in a remote area where Home Depot or whatever is not available, they're buying stuff online. Typically Amazon, but, you know, eBay's there too. So they've got 28 bucks out of this. It did go a priority mail and a bubble mailer, so it was like 5 bucks for shipping. This lady was handing out VHSs literally at her garage sale. Like, there's a bin full of them, and there's nothing really good in there, but this was right when the whole Pokemon craze was going on, so to this one and kind of put it up for I think $9.99 then $8.99 then $7.99 then it got down to this and then uh, went for $5.49 with um, first class so I thought it would sell a little bit more a little higher but oh well that's why you got to move the price you know move with the market this one was also from a garage sale so I got this for uh, I think a buck um, there's no sign of wear or anything. The lady said she just never used it. It was her husband's, and you got to check right here. This is the sweatband. I'm going to check the underlining and all this stuff. It was perfect. Nothing wrong with it. Got it for a buck. Went 1995 with first class. <clears throat> this is a golf hat, by the way. I don't know if any, anybody recognizes these, but I didn't. But I recognize the hat, the brand, and uh, the quality of it. This I literally just got back today. The lady bought it um, just after Christmas. Um, perfectly working. This game still sells for a great price. If you get it new, it goes for 30 on the Xbox 360. Um, Xbox One, I'm not sure the price. I think it's 40 or 50 still. So, But um, there wasn't nothing wrong with it. She just decided that it was not right for her kids, which I can completely agree with. This is important. I always show a test. Um, this is the game being tested on my system, on my TV, so um, it's always good to put that in your uh, pictures because then your buyer trusts you. <clears throat> Went for $23.95, but she did, like I said, she did return it. Got it back today. This was awesome. Uh, always check in your uh, the pet section because this was $2.99, and it was a no-freaking-brainer. Like, if somebody was in front of that, I would have tackled them. Um, eighty-two ninety-five. This sold the next day. I put it up, and it went the next day. Super, super happy with that. Anything Mario? Um, any kind, any kind of games? Any system? If it's Mario, check sold listings because I was surprised at this. There's the Wii. There's the Wii U. There's all these different Wii platforms. <clears throat> Image is a bit blurry. Uh, I don't know what I can tell you. I'm really new with this. Like I said, this is my third video. It's on Google Hangouts. Let's see. Let me stop screen sharing. Quality. Logitech. I got the Logitech C920, so I'm not messing around. I'll see what I can do after this, Barry. Um... Bear with me. Sorry, 
Mario Kart, thirty-seven ninety-nine. It might be my my uh, connection. I don't know. My internet's like awesome one day and terrible the next. So I know after the live streaming, I've seen that it goes better, or I've heard that. So hopefully that's the case. <clears throat> I sat on these forever. Uh, I had a few different sets of Starbucks cups. Um, I don't like the coffee cup game. It's not my uh, shindig. So this one went for uh, twenty three ninety nine. Finally, I picked these up. Uh, Goodwill for ninety nine cents each. Twenty three ninety nine with free shipping. I have no idea what this game is. I've never heard of it, and that's why I picked it up. I looked it up and it was going for good prices. Um, like I think most sold listings were at twenty-five bucks. So it was it was like new. The cover and everything was pristine. It was like someone pulled it out of the shrink wrap and gave it to Goodwill. So I got this from Goodwill for four ninety-nine, <clears throat> free shipping. It went standard, which is first class. Boy, go to Big Croc. This is the Lacoste. This is an awesome brand. I pick up Lacoste all the time, but this one's unique in that the logo right here <clears throat> is much larger than the standard logo. So we got some good pictures of uh, the whole shirt and shebang. I don't know why. Oh, yep. Good condition without any rips, tears, or stains. Yeah, but there's a little damage right here. I don't know if you call that. Um, so I put the penny next to it. Hopefully that helped whoever was buying it. I didn't get any complaints or returns yet, so works for me. Uh, I think the normal one, the uh, the other Croc ones in perfect condition were like twenty nine. Um, and this one I got from Goodwill for I think it was two ninety nine or three ninety nine. I'm not hundred percent sure. Either way, made a profit out, and shipping was cheap. Five oh nine is a snowmobile gear like they make helmets and boots and everything else so um i had this from a long time ago i ride snowmobiles and i had all kinds of stuff i think about a helmet and this was like a promo item that came with it so it's pre-owned definitely won't fit me it's a medium i'm not fat i'm just larger than a medium <laughs> so I went for 24.95 i think these were brand new are like 35 bucks it's one of those specialty brands it's a cool shirt um just clearing out some space from uh, my closet, you know. Can I get it out for new stuff? <laughs> Last item here, I believe. December 31st. Yep. This was a Harry Potter Gryffindor style gap tie. I don't know how else I would list it because it wasn't getting any attention at all. So I put it in the description that this is not a Harry Potter. But, I mean, come on, look at it. So um, right or wrong, I don't know. I don't know if that was the right or wrong thing to do, but... It sold. It did have some damage. The gap little tag uh, was undone right here, so kind of like flapped. But I put it at a much cheaper price than anything else related, so it went for twelve ninety five. Picked it up for a dollar at Goodwill, and that is it. Let me clear out of here. I'm sorry. I sound like crap. I'm sorry. It might have been quick. Thanks for sticking out. Barry, it's a lot clearer? Oh, good. I don't know what I did, but cool. Um, I don't know, Barry, um, do you want to see me do any research on anything? Um, anything in there that surprised you? We can check it out and stay on here for another minute. eBay. I love doing research. You know, it's just like, if you see something in the store that you walk past the section and it's pretty large, like here's one. Glassware. I know it's terrible to like it's scary to venture into that kind of stuff. Let me put on my screen share real quick. Unless you want to see, let's do a hangout after you if you have a moment. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, let me shut this out right after I do a quick uh I already talked about it and this is live and it's gonna stay on my channel, so let me uh Screen share real quick so we can check out glassware real quick. Nothing uh, too crazy. I'll show you guys how to look something up. So all I've done here is gone on eBay, searched glassware. So if you're going to find it on the field or wherever, you're going to find typically used. Uh, 
Um, I don't want to mess around. I want to see stuff that is... The problem with glassware, it's, it's sold either individually or in sets of like two to three hundred pieces. So it's... Do they have that set out? That's the only problem that I see kind of looking this stuff up. 30? Sounds cool. I know glassware is cheap. Colored glass, <clears throat> excuse me. If it's vintage, it goes for good money. Crystal obviously sells. So we're looking at sold listings of used glassware over 30 bucks. So you can see in here when you're looking, this is what's selling mostly for 30 bucks or more right there. Blue, clear is obvious, multicolor. <clears throat> Brand, there's got to be a billion different brands. I know Ralph, uh, if you find a popular brand on a piece of glassware, it goes for good. So like Ralph Lauren, they make all kinds of stuff. Um, let's check into this. Let's see what, holy cow, look at that. This is sold used listings of $30 or more, Ralph Lauren. I mean, I'm sure I can come across three of these at some point. So <laughs> that went best offer. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Hello. There. Sold listings. Wow. This is insane. So you can go through on any of this kind of stuff. Look up antiques. Um, excuse me. That's it for now. All right. So you kind of got the idea of uh, just looking up basic stuff. I mean, you can go through different brands and sort it out how you like and learn along the way. You might not always come across this stuff, but now I now I know what to pay for it um, and what I can get out of it. So I uh, hope you like the video. If you want to see me do anything else specific and as far as uh, research goes, I'd be glad to do that. Um, or if you have any other eBay questions, I'd be also glad to help you guys out. So not sure when my next video will be. I know I'm linking up with another YouTuber. Um, he wants to do a quick intro and such and talk about ebay we'll just kind of have a quick discussion and see where it goes it might be a regular thing so uh, let me end this show you guys have a good night get out to the listing and make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment Bye bye